Hi teachers, today's video is about classroom observation. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Melanie Howell and I've been a classroom teacher for more than 20 years. So the advice I'm giving is based on my experience. If you find this video helpful, I hope you will consider subscribing and um, give it a thumbs up. All right, so teacher observations. I find it very interesting that depending on where you're located, admin can sort of emphasize different um, elements that they wanna see within your lesson. However, today I have five sort of core components to a lesson admin, no matter where you are, will want to see. So the first one is your introduction. Now I know this doesn't sound like rocket science, but actually the introduction is very important because we all know that neurologically speaking, curiosity and novelty sort of prime that brain for learning. So the introduction is where you need to have a statement that says something like, boys and girls, do you remember yesterday when we talked about? So you always need to sort of introduce by reminding them where they've been. However, the introduction is also where you can bring in the creativity and even silliness to sort of grab their attention right away and engage them through that novelty and curiosity. So um, that can be as elaborate as you're wearing a funny hat that has to do with a lesson or um, let's see, one time I wore big goofy bedroom shoes for a lesson that was going to be about adjectives and all I did was complain about how my feet hurt to sort of get them engaged and pull them into what I'm talking about and then go into what it is you're actually trying to teach them. Because let's face it, during that introduction that's when kids are looking and listening and they're deciding, is this something I'm curious enough about to listen to? Or am I just going to sit here and hope nobody calls on me? I mean, that introduction is is crucial. So it, it has to be more than, remember yesterday when we talked about adjectives? Well, today we're talking about verbs. I mean, it can't just be as shallow as that. It, it really needs to be a good review, and then it has to have some sort of attention grabber, I guess you could call it. All right, the next step, number two, is your mini lesson. And this is what I like to call the meat of what you're trying to teach. But here is my tip. You need to remember that in generalities, attention span is the age of your student plus six or seven minutes. So if my students are 10 years old and I add seven, so that's 17 minutes. So I'm thinking, okay, my mini lesson has to begin and end in about 15 minutes, otherwise, I'm asking for behavior problems. I mean, I, I need to stay within those limits. So that's your tip for how to gauge your mini lesson. But your mini lesson, as far as admin is concerned, that's the part where you are basically teaching the new skill and modeling for them what it is you're about to ask your students to do. So the mini lesson, of course, needs to be within the correct time frame so that it's age appropriate and this is also a place where, depending on what kind of questions you get, you might also have to sort of um, monitor and adjust. Or even when you get to um, breakout, you might even have to reteach. And speaking of number three, the next um, crucial element of your lesson for observation purposes is collaboration. I don't care where you are, admin does not want to come in your room and only hear the teacher talk. I mean, that's just not what anybody wants to see. So the collaboration element of your lesson is very important. Now it can look, you know, lots of different ways. However, it is crucial. So do you want to you end your mini lesson with the instructions of what they're going to do next while they're collaborating? So are you gonna have small groups? Are you gonna be with a group? Or are you gonna be walking around monitoring all the groups? You have to sort of map that out in your mind, what that's going to look like. And to avoid behavior problems, you need to have a visual that explains step by step or shows step by step what it is you're asking your students to do exactly. So again, the collaboration is a crucial part of your element when you're being observed. Now, what's next? 
conclusion. You need to map this out in your mind beforehand. Are you going to conclude your lesson by pulling everyone in the group back to one central location? Are you going to sort of verbally give some kind of signal to stop everybody's work and then call on different groups to sort of give a report of what they found while they've been collaborating? Um, the, the conclusion of your lesson, honestly, for me, always takes longer than I think it should. But I guess that's what where also kids um, have a chance to ask questions based on what's come up while they've been collaborating. So don't forget to allow enough time for that. That's an area I could take my own advice on that. All right, and number five, the last area um, is technology. Now, this is very dependent upon where you are. So some schools uh, want to see the teacher using technology during the mini lesson. Some schools want to see the students using technology during a lesson, and some schools want to see both. They want to see teachers using technology and students using technology. So this you'll have to feel out for yourself exactly um, how you're going to work technology in, but I'll just say you're crazy if you don't work it in. I mean, in this 2018, how do you not have technology of some kind in a lesson? Yeah, well, okay, no rants today. So those are the five things that, no matter where you are, admin wants to see in a lesson. Number one was an introduction. And again, that's where you can be um, creative and silly and just have a little bit of fun grabbing the attention of the students. Number two is the mini lesson. This is where the meat of what you're trying to teach, where you're modeling what you're about to ask them to go and do. Then collaboration, super important. Um, making sure your voice is not the only voice the admin hears. Then we have the conclusion, the wrap up. Decide how you're going to summarize for everyone. Or, I mean, sometimes there's even like a conclusion little activity where you have them write on a post-it note or something and stick it somewhere in the room so you can also look at their notes from later. Whatever it is you decide to do, you have to have some kind of conclusion. And then number five was technology. All right, I hope these five components of a lesson will help you as you are planning for your teacher observations this year. And um, again, if you like the video, I hope you will subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Please leave your comments um, down below. I would love to um, answer questions or interact with you about your teacher observations. Okay, everybody, have a great day, bye.